Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's been a minute since I did a Saturday live, you know, motivational live. But let me tell you today, pay no attention to uh, the hair. It's going to get done today, okay? But I could not resist coming on live to give you this word that God gave me this morning. Hey, Monique. So in my prayer time with God this morning, right? So I'm talking to God, you know, praying to God, just, you know, having my conversation with the Lord, right? And asking God to forgive me for, you know, having doubt in my faith. And you know how you know how we waver, you know, we go through stuff. Nobody is perfect. My faith is not always here. Sometimes it gets here. But I never lose, I never lose hope. I never, you know, lose, you know. Anyway, enough about me. Let me tell you what the Lord told me. So while I was praying to God and I was giving him thanks and asking him for, you know, for forgiveness and everything. And then I began to pray for other people. And this is something that God showed me in the midst of me praying for other people. God showed me a vision of a mouse inside of a wall, like four corners of a wall. And the mouse just running, 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 running. The mouse have no way of getting out. And then God said, but right over there, it's like it was like a little hole. And God said, God said, it's just like us. It's like we trapped in the box. It's like we running around from here to there, from all four corners, from hitting every wall. And it's like nothing is working. But God said, but there is a light. The light is so small. And God said one thing about it. Then he showed me in a vision while I was looking at the light. He was showing me the light. He said, as you look at that little small light. He said, when the, the the closer that you get to the to that to that light, to that little hole that looks so whole, looks so small, far off, he said, the closer you get to it, the bigger it becomes. It becomes, it becomes. And then he took me back to kaleidoscope. He said, like a kaleidoscope, when you have it in your in your in your eye, it's like you see nothing but darkness. He said, but when you started to turn it, the colors started coming out. The colors started coming out, and it gets bigger and it gets bigger and it gets bigger, and it, and it just gets so pretty. God said it's the same thing with our life. We seem like things not going to work out for us. We see the darkness and don't realize that Jesus is the light. Remember, Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of everything. So this day, God wants you to take whatever dark situation is in your life. Whatever dark, whatever that's not going right. Whatever that's not feeling right. Whatever just, just got you down. He said, take that dark situation. And look at that really small light. He said, allow your faith to grow. Come closer, come closer, come closer to that light. That light which is Jesus. And watch how big it gets. Watch how he begins to work it out. Watch how, like all the time when we worry and we stress and we think it's not going to work out. God said, watch the light. Continue to walk closer to the light. Continue to walk closer to Jesus because Jesus is the light. And one thing about Jesus, what I thank God about Jesus Jesus is his only begotten son. And it's because of Jesus, because of the blood of Jesus, because of the dedication, the determination, the blood, the sweat, the tears of Jesus to go on that cross, to be killed on that cross, that we can have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. That we can come to God and say, okay, God, look here, check this out. We can come to God and, and be honest with God. And God is not going to knock us back down. He's not going to say, no. Mm -mm, you did wrong. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. God going to say, yeah, I know you did wrong. But you know what? My grace is sufficient. I have mercy and grace because of the blood of Jesus. Because of what my son did. Now, because you love my son. Because you believe in my son. Then I'm going to give you another chance. I'm going to give you another chance for what you messed up. Yeah, there are consequences that come behind it. Don't get me wrong. Because whatever we, whatever we sow, we shall reap. He said, there'll be consequences that come behind. He said, but I'm still there. He said, I'm still there. You still going to get what I have for you. You still going to get to the destination that I had set for you. Only if you repent. Only if you ask for forgiveness. Well, I take the back. He said, only if you ask for forgiveness and you repent and you turn away. That will be the only thing. Our sins, our, our disobedience. Our lack of faith will stop, the, will stop us from getting what God has for us. Whatever drive, whatever goal, whatever ambition, whatever you desire, pay attention to the light. The light is Jesus. And know that there's no perfect person that was on this earth that, has, that is successful. 
that got it going on. They're not perfect. Everybody has fallen. Everybody has done something. But when you continue to trust in God, you continue to call on the name of Jesus, you continue to keep your face in God's face, everything going to be okay. Because one thing about God, when we turn our back on God, and when we can't look in the face of God, and when we can't talk to God, God can't hear us. He can't hear us because we don't have faith in Him. We have literally turn our back to God. Who do we think we are? We don't have no right to turn our back to God. Who do we think we are? God will smash us down like a can and throw us away. But he loved us so much because of his son. He loved the atheists. He loved those who believe in Buddha. He loved those who believe in witchcraft. He loved everybody. But one thing about it, those who believe in Buddha better accept Jesus. Those who deal with witchcraft better leave witchcraft alone and accept Jesus. That's what I love about God. God is so good that we can be a, a we can be a mess and God will say but I love you God will say I'm going to give you another chance so this Saturday you take your time out and you pray and you talk to God you put your face in God's face you put your everything before the altar of God leaving no no, what it said, no stones unturned. Turn them stones upside down. Turn them right. Turn them every way. Every little, little nick and cranny, whatever's going on in your life, give it to God. Put it in God. If you a, if you a person who like to cuss, give it to God. If you a person who like to sleep around, give it to God. If you a person who like to gamble, give it to God. If you a person who hate people, give it to God. If you a person who love to gossip, give it to God. Whatever it is, say, God, I give this to you. Father, I ask you to forgive me. God, I ask you to strengthen me. God, I can't get to where you want me to be. God, I can't even have what you want me to have because of the filth that's in my life. So, Father, I give it to you. Talk to God. Remember, just like he said when he showed me that demonstration about the hole looks smaller, but the closer we walk to it, the bigger it gets. Your life looks dark, but the closer that you walk to God, the better things going to be for you. God is so amazing. You listen to a you t- listening to a woman right now that whose faith has been tested uh, up down up down, but mm, but that peace that God gives me surpasses my understanding. That peace that God gives me, like Mary, I got you. Go through the storm, Mary, I got you. Keep the faith, Mary, I got you. He got me. God got you. He got you, Monique. He got you, Kevin. He got you, Dion. He got you, Keela. He got you, Glenda. He got you, Margaret. He has us. God has us. But he wants to know, do we have him? He wants to know, do we believe in him? He wants to know, that are we going to trust him? Are we going to trust him even when we can't see it? Are we going to trust him? So this Saturday, kaleidoscope. Put it in your eye and get the turning so you can see the colors get the turning and you can see just how beautiful your life is going to be because you trust and believe that the little hole that you see that's in the midst of that darkness that is bigger than what you think you have an awesome day many blessings to y'all pray for me i'm praying for y'all god knows i'm really praying for y'all i promise you i am and i love you all have a great day bye oh do me a favor share the video Maybe put it in somebody's inbox or put it on your timeline, whichever way you choose. Send it to somebody because somebody needs to be encouraged this day. They need to be encouraged and let them know that everything's going to be okay. One thing I like about God, God moves in faith. God doesn't move in darkness. God moves in faith. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God said he moved in faith and not in darkness, not in despair. He can't do nothing in despair because you're pulling him down. You're making him way down. He can't do nothing for you because you don't have trust. You don't believe. Move in faith this day. All right, y'all, I'm going to get off this phone. Because, uh, okay, God. I love y'all. Have an awesome day. Bye. Yes, right, Miss Blakemore. Nothing but the peace from God. Many blessings to y'all, too. Bye.